Hello and welcome to this Eprosima video tutorial. Here we will record RTI DDS traffic using Eprosima non-intrusive DDS recorder. This video assumes you have already downloaded and installed the following software. Eprosima non-intrusive DDS recorder from eprosima.com The RTI DDS saves demo application from rti.com A network sniffer like Wireshark and an SQLite manager like SQLite Browser. We are going to use two instances of RTI Shapes demo, one for publishing and one for subscribing. Please ensure they are executed in the same local area network. We want to record the subscriber behavior, so before launching the RTI DDS application, execute the network sniffer. Start capturing traffic. If you want, you can filter the output typing RTPS. Now let's go to the publisher machine for a moment. Open an RTI Shapes demo instance. Publish a blue square, a red circle, and a yellow triangle. Let's go back to the subscriber machine. Now launch another RTI Shapes demo instance. Subscribe to the three topics Square, Circle, and Triangle. Execute it for a while and delete the subscribers. You can now stop the network sniffer. Save the capture. Ensure you choose the PCAP format. We are now ready to execute the Proxima non-intrusive DDS recorder to analyze and convert the PCAP file to a human-readable format. The Proxima non-intrusive DDS recorder is a command line program, so open a command prompt. Push the Windows button, type CMD and press Enter. Go to the directory where you saved the capture. Now we can analyze the capture by running the command DDS recorder. But first, we highly recommend reading the output of the help option. To process the PCAP file, type DDS recorder. Then type minus DV option to set the name of the output file. And then the name of the PCAP file. The creation of the SQLite database will take a moment. A Proxima non-intrusive DDS recorder creates an SQLite database with the DDS communications. To understand the contents of this database, execute the SQLite manager. Open the generated SQLite database. We've got six tables here. Endpoint Discovery Messages has the detected RTPS discovery messages found during the execution of the application. It stores interesting information as timestamps, IP sources and destinations, endpoint types and topic names. Topic stores the topics found in the discovery messages. You should have three, square, circle and triangle. Endpoints store the DDS data readers and data writers found in the discovery traffic. You should have three data readers and three data writers. Square stores the detected data messages from the topic square. It also has some metadata, like the timestamps, the IP source and the IP destination. Circle stores the detected data messages from the topic circle. And triangle stores the detected data messages from the topic triangle. 
you now have a logical database with all the information of your DDS application made in just a few minutes. Visit www.iprosima.com for more information and thank you for watching.